Hi and welcome back to another Hidden Pressure Pad Trap Base. Now, this one does not use the spinners. I know that was a bit harder to use. This uses a shelf. Now, as you've seen from the start, it's a normal looking base. We have the bait, as we mentioned before, where you want to entice someone into the actual base itself. Once they actually jump through the windows, it activates a hidden pressure pad. Now, that activates both doors, as you can see. Shotgun trap inside there. As you turn to your left or right, and you look behind, you can't escape through the window. So it completely keeps everyone there. Now the roof is off simply so you can see it more clearly, so it isn't dark. But as you can see, it works extremely well. Now this is very easy to put together. As you can see here, I'll take this door away actually because it might be easier for you to see. But the pressure pad is on top of the shelves. Now, to do this, I will show you how to fully build this trap and the mechanism for the trap later on. But it's very simple. All you need is a power source, a switch, a splitter, and a pressure pad. And obviously the door activation. Other than that, all you need is a base to put it in. Now, this has to go on the first floor, obviously because the shelves are in place. I've made this base out the simplest format that I can, just a 2x2 two two with honeycomb and the roof piece at the front, solely so people can get up. Now, at the end, I'll show you how to build this whole base. I won't talk through it, because it's very straightforward and simple. You see here, I've got a triple airlock as well at the back, so we've got two sort of means of way. So if you are getting raided, you can open the double doors and it'll stop people getting in as well. So guys, I will show you exactly how the trap itself is built, as in the mechanism now. And I said, I will show you the actual build of this, if you want to replicate this at the very end. This is the circuit in its simplest form. Now, this is on the shelf as you can see. This is just so you can see exactly how the circuit is put together in its simplest way. Now, as I said, all it requires is a switch, a splitter. If you're using two doors, if you're only using one door, you will not require the splitter. A power source and a pressure pad. Now, I'll wire it all up just so you can see exactly how it's done. It's obviously easier to show than it is to explain. Now, as I said, the switch is only there so you can actually p generate power for your source and store the power, i.e. a battery. Now, we just built this on a live server and found that having the actual battery fully charged meant we could just leave it for four hours, which was ideal. However, sometimes it did stutter and not work correctly because the charge wasn't full. So I recommend putting the switch. That means you can also turn it off if you're in the base and using that area as an actual fundamental part of your base as well. Now, as I said, go straight in from the switch to the pad and from the pad come all the way back and you go into the power in of the splitter. Now, the splitter, you're just going to run both one or two or one or three or two and three, doesn't really matter. Just run that straight up to one of the door openers, fit it down and same again, do it with the other one. Wiring's a bit of a mess, it's just for speed. We don't want to take too long trying to show this. Take it up, put it onto this one, drop it down, and there. Now, make sure you have your door openers paired to the doors required as well. If you didn't know, if your door is locked, it won't pair, so make sure your doors are unlocked. As you can see, both open as soon as the pad is activated. Very, very simple circuit. You don't have to use any of the splitters, as in the breaker splitters, or anything else, any timed, nothing. You could add that if you want, however, keep it very simple. Now, to get it on top of the shelves, this is very important because you can mess it up quite quick. Because if you have a door frame or anything else in before you put the actual pad down, you will struggle to get it in. It's not impossible, but it will take a very long time to do it. Now, put your shelf in place, then put your floor piece down, then from there, you're simply going to take a staircase or some object that you can stand on, it gives you a clear line of sight into the top of the shelves. And once that's in place, it will go blue. For a slight second, just make sure you do it. Now, as I say, you have to mess around with this because it is annoying as hell, but it does work. As you can see, it will click to it. Now, you should just dip in, it's going blue, drop down. Now you can see that is fully connected. So guys, that is it, very simple. Um, the beauty of these is no one can physically see them, so there's no rugs or anything else. You can physically just put it down as you would. People are unexpectedly going to jump in, so it's not going to look too suspect. Now, I'd recommend putting in a base that looks slightly raided already. Then from there, just play with it. 
change it around. I know a lot of people keep putting invisible pads and they're not. These are fully invisible. No one can see it at all. So guys, this is a full build. If you want to build exactly what I did, very simple. As I say, I'm not going to talk all the way through it. It's very, very straightforward. All I'm going to do is build the base itself and incorporate the mechanism that I've just shown you with the shelves. So guys, thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you in the next one.
Dracula.